me, Alana. I wanted to do something new for the year. I decided that this year I wanted to try doing review videos. I tried doing some when I first started my channel and it felt weird and it honestly didn't get a lot of views so I figured maybe I will start. I wanted to get like a good plot, like get myself established like channel wise and get a good set uh, like a good pattern or schedule or whatever going for myself and make myself more consistent before I started doing like reviews. So I figured since it's a new year, I already have my goals set up, why not just try this out? So I'm going to do this. If you guys end up not liking this video or the way I do it, yell at me, tell me not to do it anymore. I don't know, just smoke signal me. I don't care. Just tell me you don't want me to do this and that'll be totally fine. I won't do it. It, it doesn't really hurt my feelings either way, I guess. I'm just trying something new. If you guys do like them, let me know also because that would be helpful. To decide if I should keep doing these. So it's a book that's coming out January 8th and I managed to get an arc of this in a giveaway on Twitter and so I wanted to read it really fast before the book came out because I also pre-ordered the book because they were doing a fun little pre-order thing but I also am excited that I was able to read it before it officially came out and I can review it. So that book is Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus. If you don't know who that is, she wrote One of Us is Lying in 2017 and it was really, really popular. I think it's even still on the New York Times bestsellers list, I'm pretty sure. I'm not completely positive though, so I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But I really loved that book. I thought it was really well done. I thought the mystery was handled well. I love the, the fact that it was uh, basically sold as like The Breakfast Club but with murder because I'm a super big fan of The Breakfast Club and I love anything with pop culture references so that's just me. I was excited for this because I was like, ooh, I love the first one. Let's see how the second one does, especially because I'm not usually a big thriller person, but the way I love the way she does it and the way she writes it and the characters she comes up with. So I was excited to dive into her second novel because this is her sophomore novel, so I was excited to see how well it was. I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. So originally I was stuck between a 3.5 and a 4, but I managed to bump it up because I was like, you know what, like thinking about it, and I'll explain why in a little bit, but I figured it deserved to be bumped up. Overall, it's essentially about a girl named Ellery who ends up moving to her mom's hometown with her twin brother because of her mom doing something bad and getting sent to rehab, essentially. So there, this town is infamous because of the fact that previous years earlier, a girl I don't remember if she was specifically the homecoming queen or she was connected to the homecoming queen. She disappeared. And so she, nobody like knew what happened to her. Nobody's ever like that's that ship has like sailed. Nobody knows what's up. So then a couple years after that, another girl gets murdered who was the homecoming queen. So that brought more infamy. As she moves back into town, threats come in about how another homecoming queen was gonna be murdered. And so now People are freaking out and they're trying to figure out who did it and like trying to figure out what's next and all this kind of stuff. I like it because so you get two separate POVs instead of four like in the last book and the two POVs are Ellery who of course is the main one of the main characters and then Malcolm who is connected to the previous homecoming queen's murder in a really interesting way. So you get stuck with these two POVs and throughout the story you get like kind of a couple little side plots that get twisted in that makes the plot and the story more interesting and the mystery more interesting. So I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars because I literally loved the story. Like I genuinely liked the way the story was going, I liked the mystery, I liked figuring out who did it or who done it and what happened to these girls. But I bumped it down because, I don't know why, but I didn't necessarily care for the characters. Like, I didn't dislike them, but I also didn't love them either. They were kind of just like, there, like to tell me the story it felt like. And maybe it was just me and that's fine. And I was honestly surprised because her in her first book, I was like invested into her characters. I was like crying because I was like I don't want any of these people to be the killer and I'm gonna cry because if they end up being one I'm like sad. So it was shocking to me that like I didn't connect to really anyone in the story that much but I was like you know what 
It's her sophomore novel. There was a lot of expectation from her first book just because of how good it was. So I appreciate that this she still did such a good job writing the story and writing the mystery and actually creating a good plot and it wasn't similar to her first book at all which I enjoyed because you know sometimes some authors stick to the same like plot line or whatever so I appreciated that she did something different and unique and honestly it could have just been me with the characters like I didn't dislike them like I enjoyed I guess hearing their thoughts and stuff like that but I feel like I was more into just solving the mysteries than actually connecting with the characters to be honest so that's kind of why I bumped it down like from a 5 star to a 4 star, which is fine. It was still a good story. I still recommend it because I still love her as an author and I still would buy her next book whenever it comes out. I also will say that like the the person who did it in this book, so the, the in her first book, it took me a while to figure out who the killer was um, just because I had so many theories and I, it was the same way with this one. I had so many theories that I didn't know who it was. So I think that's what I enjoy is like she kind of throws out so many people that you're kind of like, oh wait, is it this person? Or wait, no, is it this person? And so like everybody's a suspect in my opinion, in like your opinion until you finally get to the last person then you're like, no, it's them. And so I like that. Like she doesn't necessarily focus on just one person as a suspect. Like there are multiple people that get thrown into it. So I appreciate that too about her storytelling. Me and Michelle from Michelle Reads Right, we, we didn't buddy read this, but she read it first and then I read it. So I was texting her as all the things were happening. But we both agreed that the, the literal last line of this book literally messes with you. I read it and I was like, what? And I was like, how can you end it like that? And it was so bad. Like I was like, what is going on? How do you just end it like that with that line? It messed to be up, man. So I definitely, genuinely recommend you read this book just to read the last line, just to see what I'm talking about, because you should do it. You should go out and buy this. You should totally support this author, because I think she does a really good job of writing her stories and her plots overall. And I think you, if even if I don't connect necessarily with these characters, I feel like other people can. They're really cool people overall. I just couldn't emotionally connect to them honestly and honestly it, and it could have just been me like again don't take my word as the end all be all of books I think this is all I have to say about this book overall definitely buy it when it comes out it's it's good if you really like want to get if you really want to get into a thriller for the beginning of the year if you want this to be your first big read you should totally do it commit commit to it. That's all I have for this review. Again, let me know if you guys like this or not. I'm, I'm trying it out. It's, it's a new thing. It's new. So, we'll see. If you guys like the video, go ahead and like it down below. If you guys have any comments, go ahead and comment them down below. If you're not good at commenting, go ahead and just leave me an emoji. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you guys want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You guys are all some Mars in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.